I'm Robert Tashin, Area Extension Director for West 1 and West 2. So how I first started in an extension, um, I, actually I was nine years old and I was in 4-H camp and I got to enjoy that and then of course um, I had a girlfriend that was in 4-H so just getting to spend time with her and meeting other kids that was fun but of course I was also a farm kid so my dad didn't have much time for me to be off the farm. So my next experience actually was when I graduated from Murray State University. I graduated with an education degree and I needed a job and one of the people that uh, was my 4-H agent at the time had said, you know, you should try for extension in McCracken County. And I said, absolutely, I'll give it a shot. I need a job. So in 1997, I applied and I took that job and I've been here for 25 years and I've made terrific connections. Uh, I've made a lot of friends, a lot of community development, and I've got to meet people all across West 1 and West 2 and uh, I'm really enjoying getting to do that. So one of my favorite memories in Extension um, has been the backpack program that we began. It started with um, some young people that were out of one of our high schools and they started coming up with ideas through the Issues program and through that Issues program they developed a backpack program to where they were going to serve a small ele elementary school, about 15 kids. So we got backpacks just like the program says but the backpacks we found were not being returned. Some were smoke filled um, and, and some of those backpacks just were really, really dirty. So we moved beyond that into what we call t-shirt bags and we started building more and more and, and gaining more and more schools throughout. And we got to the point where now we've reached 460 youth that we're feeding. So we went from 15 to 460 youth that we're feeding. And I'm just proud to say that um, that program's been going for 20 plus years and it's still continuing and they're still feeding that many kids and we have that many more kids we still need to feed. Um, so it's, it's just great to see the partnerships with the Family Resource Centers, um, other community organizations and that thing is still um, thriving. We're, we're solely running off of donations from just that community. We don't get donations outside that county and it's just great to see and I'm very proud of that. So what I enjoy most about this job is making connections, getting out, meeting community members, meeting new people, district board members, uh, county extension council members, uh, new agents. It's great to get to mentor and to coach new agents and to work with those agents that I've uh, been friends with. In the I enjoy the challenges that I find within the counties and then working with those folks to be able to come up with solutions. They come up with those solutions, but I like to be a part of that team. I also like the fact that when a position is vacant, I can help to fill in and, and cover those areas or to find where other agents uh, who may have certain strengths and talents can come along and also be a benefit to those counties. And so by, by this new role of being an area director, I feel like I am that connection between the university and the county and because I've served on the county level for so long I really have a firm grasp on that grassroots initiative. So I know that we're going to go through a lot more challenges and changes along the way but I'm just excited to be a part of that and I know that we're going to be able to grow through these things and we're going to make the extension service much better for the future.